All right, so we're back, day two. It's cold in here now because there's no ASICs running. So as we had stated before, trying to put in the drop ceiling today, maybe take a look at this, uh, but otherwise, I want to get the drop ceiling in, get the light in, get the ASICs back on Rapido. All right, it is a right mess, but we got the drop ceiling in. So we are got a light. We are basically sealed up uh, on the drop ceiling. So there's some air that's gonna seep in, uh, but it's not gonna be significant. There are no big gaping holes, except for the one your mom has. Uh, the corners got those taped up. I might run back through and just put like an extra layer. Like I see a little bit peeling away there. Not peeling away, but just kind of a little gap. I'll probably run, I'll probably use a uh, like crawl space sealing tape. I've got some of that to seal the edge between the drywall and this, um, this uh, four inch lip here. Still leaving this open for the intake. So I'm just gonna seal that up with tape and then I'm gonna clean up real good and get the miners back in here and start mining again to warm this warehouse up and continue my work from there. All right, we're starting to look good in here. Got the rack, put a little bonus shelf. This is actually two racks worth of shelves um, on here. They're spaced about 12 inches apart because ant miners are like 11 and some change high. So to get them in, you actually gotta turn them, put them in and then turn them upright. But that's good because that's less overall space that I have to deal with. This whole room was built around this shelf. So, you know, uh, little measurements count. Um, otherwise got some cove base in just around where the drywall is. I got this duct taped off. I didn't have any of the uh, crawl space ceiling tape left. I'll have to get some more of that because I'm thinking that duct tape's eventually gonna unstick from concrete. It's concrete wicks water. Um, so that'll probably lift over time. Uh, but I could probably just pop some of that uh, crawl space tape on top of it. I think that stuff just like perma bonds to everything. At least it does in my crawl space. Once you stick it on something, it's, it's on there forever. Uh, so. Cleaned up the rack, wiped everything down. Uh, I'm gonna probably do two more passes for dust just to get out as much dust as possible because once the ant miners kick on, it's gonna start getting windy in here uh, and that's kicking up dust and maybe going into the machine. So I really wanna do my best to get rid of the dust. Uh, the only one thing I wanted to do before is run an extra piece of conduit, um, just a dummy piece, empty, an empty leg 
So if I do go back in to put in another 30 amp, I'm definitely gonna put in a 20 amp 120 uh, just so I have something to chase it through before I settle everything into place and then I'm trying to stick a piece of conduit through and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and secure that down, uh, probably seal up this edge and then, then I'm gonna put the miners in here. Oh, do dust, you know, look for dust, but I'm gonna put the miners in here. But overall, you know, I started this yesterday at about 3 a.m. It's uh, 4.23 right now. I started about midnight tonight, um, nine hours yesterday. So about, I don't know, 12 hours worth of work. This was an empty corner. And, you know, that, that's pretty quick, I think, as a weekend. Um, you know, I... I'm tired. <laughs> I'm going to pass out and die. Uh, I'm going to die when I'm 50 years old. But hey, pretty cool little mining shed within a shed. It looks like a doctor's office, kind of an unfinished doctor's office. So uh, the prescription is hash rate. So let's clean this up. Let's do these few small things and let's get these miners back online. Let's do the exact same thing I just did. So, got everything in place. Obviously, this is a bit of a mess. Um, got the amp miners up, uh, but we've got to do a little bit more work because I'm running this off of a Wi-Fi extender because I don't have a hard line out here. Maybe plan to do that in the future with a subterranean line. Um, but the Wi-Fi seems to be working out just fine, no issues. Uh, but I don't want to keep the Wi-Fi in this room just for the you know walls. It's already kind of far away. So I want to put it up on top of this, uh, but I need to put an outlet up there. I don't want to run it off an extension cord. Um, so we'll do that here in the future. But for now, I'm just going to put the switch in place, kick the amp miners on, and then we can continue the work, warm up the warehouse, uh, do the other work around here. There shouldn't be any more dust. Um, and we can kind of test it out to see how things are going and spot it in and so forth. But uh, I call that a success. One weekend we went from mining on the day, well, on this rack, but out in the open where dust and all kinds of junk could get on the miners uh, to mining on Danger Dolly to now mining in our shed within a shed, our sort of more proper at home mining solution. So uh, this is about an eight by eight room not very big it's got this big picture window cutout thing in the back to exhaust the air and in the future videos we'll work on uh, blocking up the airflow so that it can't get back in we'll work on the intakes and probably tweak it you know a million different ways over the course of uh the, of the lifetime of this room so anyway i'd love to know what you think in the comments below do you think i did a shitty job i know i did a shitty job but i'm not building a doctor's office here this is a utilitarian room uh, but if you want to cast hate on me in the comments below if you're one of the blue collared boys wearing oakley's and you think my cove base job or my drywall job uh, should put me in back in prison, let me know in the comments below. Either way, press like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'm the Technicals. See you next time.